Okay, uh, this is an interesting headline here from Business Insider um, about our younger friends. When I say our, I don't know who I'm talking. I don't know who I'm, I, you know, everybody around me is young. I see you in there. Adulting milestones are harder for young adults than their parents. This is the headline. This is from a CNBC and Generation Lab study. Younger generations think achieving major milestones, such as getting promoted at work or buying a house, is much harder than it was for their parents. I wonder why that is. I also wonder, does every generation think the same thing? I got to believe that we do. In, in other words, this, is, this data is focused on millennials and Gen Z. I would suggest that my generation, Gen X, and the boomer generation probably thought the same thing. It's just perspective. But we're going to break this down and then why this matters. Uh, adults 18 to 34 were surveyed. And they were asked about different aspects of growing older and whether or not they thought it was easier for their parents' generation. Let's look at professional career journey. 44% said it's harder to find a job. Okay. That one, I think I've got an insight on this one. I do think that my generation and the boomer generation, so we're talking about millennials, Gen Z are saying, 44% are saying it's harder to find a job than previous generations. I think that is true in that what they mean by find a job is select something. Okay, this is what I, and I'll tell you why that is. I think because we have more information in every area of our lives than we've ever had at any point in history. I mean, it's almost mind boggling about how much information a kid can get by doing this right here on TikTok. You know, I don't know if they do this or I don't know what they're doing. You get the point. All right. If you think about the amount of jobs that are out there that are available. We talk about the sheer numbers, we're talking millions. And you also think about some of these remote jobs that tend to get the highest volume of applicants. Folks, we're talking about millions of people apply for one job. There's Monster. There's ZipRecruiter. There's Indeed. I can go on and on and on. And I think what these young people are thinking when they say it's harder to find a job because by the pure usage of the word find, it'd be like, well, it's not hard to find at all. They're everywhere. But I think what they mean is, is like, I found my, this is what I want. And I just think it's more intimidating now because there's just so much out there. So let's, let's just rewind. So let's take the youngest people in this grouping, 18, 19, 20. So if we go back, Alex, you're going to have fun with this. If we go back to when I was 18, 19, and 20, I'm going to take you back to 1992. 1993 and 1994. All right, now let me tell you what's going on in the world in 1992, 93, and 94. Let's just take that, that, that range, okay? Number one, I was in school, in college. Number two, didn't have a cell phone. Number three, did not have a laptop, and nobody did on my dorm. Now, Alex, that's freaking you out. But I went to college without a, never, never having a cell phone, by the way, nobody did. It wasn't that the Coleman's weren't very nice to me. It was we didn't have cell phones in 1992, 93, 94, 95, 96. We just we didn't have it. Nobody did. Only a few had some desktop computers in their rooms. There were there weren't a laptop. And are you ready for this? The internet was not there. All right, so now, okay, just to set this here. So imagine a young Ken Coleman at the at the front edge of this poll. If I had everything these young people have, it would be so much overwhelming. But finding a job back then, honestly, to me, did not seem incredibly intimidating because the way we went about it back then was very simplistic. Thus, I think the simpler something is, 
the less intimidating it is. Is that fair? Does that square with you viewers out there? You could comment on this, some of you older people. In the comment section, go, go, go. So I would say for my young friends, I get it. Now there's information overload. It's like, I don't even know what. And I think it's like this. It's just they're paralyzed by options. All right, next. This is very interesting. 55% said it's more difficult to get promoted. I don't have much insight onto that. I don't know why they think it's harder to get promoted. Other than, this is my this is my stab, they've been in the workforce for a few months, maybe six months, maybe a year, and they haven't been promoted, but their whole life, that's all they've ever been is promoted. These kids have grown up with parents who have coddled and rewarded for basically nothing. They're showing up. And so now they go, good grief, I've come to work for six months. How come Alex hasn't promoted me? That's my only take on that one. Moving on. 55% think it's much harder to purchase a property. Uh, this is this is about the sheer issue of inflation where housing prices are high and these kids aren't thinking, well, what house did my parents first have? Stacy and I... Our first house cost $198,000, and I thought I'd mortgage my future. <laughs> I was like, I can't believe we just bought a $198,000 house. Ah! You know what I mean? And now these young people are going, oh, man, I got I to start off with a $300,000 house. No, you don't. I didn't. So I, I think their appetites are bigger than their belly. Might I say that? I think that's what's going on. Now, there were some positive shifts, if you will, or some hopeful answers. 40% of Gen Z and millennials say they think it's easier for them to find economic opportunities outside of traditional employment. They're right. The gig economy. They're right. They're, they're watching their friends make really good money on YouTube. By the way, I was on, Alex, I was on the show with Dave, uh, Dave Ramsey on the, I was co-hosting the Ramsey show. Guy calls in, young guy, and uh, was asked us some questions, and Dave says, uh, well, how much money do you make? Uh, and the guy goes, 300 a month. And Dave goes, $300 a month? And the guy goes, no, 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 $300,000 a month. This is a young kid. And we were like, what do you do? It's in digital marketing. It's crazy. People can make insane amounts of money in the digital space. I don't know if the guy was pulling our leg or not. It didn't seem like it. But there you go. Uh, surprisingly, 43% of younger workers said they felt loyal to their employers. Again, surprising data here. I don't want to take anything away from my young friends. So proud of, of this piece of data here. Um, they're thankful. They're thankful for the shot. They're thankful for a place to land. And I think you're seeing some gratitude here. I think that's why the loyalty is there. Um, we know from other data that I share on this show that Gen Z uh, wants to be in the office. They want to be mentored. They want to be led. They have been led. They've been coddled. They have been hovered around, and thus they like the idea of a leader having eyes on them, showing them how to do it. And don't forget this. They're not different from anybody else in this regard. They just need and crave the out of boys and the out of girls. Now, I don't make fun of that. That's not something to, to make fun of. That is something to acknowledge, and everybody ought to feel that way. And, and so this is interesting that they're very, very loyal to their employers. So, uh, here, here's why I share this. If you are in that younger generation, hey, listen, you can do this. I did it. And if I can do it, you can do it. Trust me. My mom and dad didn't give me this unbelievable manual for life. They taught me character. They taught me responsibility. And I had to figure it out just like you. And my first house wasn't $300,000. It was a nice little house. But I've upgraded many, many times. And so will you. You'll get there. Be patient. Be patient. And we're going to be walking alongside of you on the way. But adulting isn't as scary as it seems. I'm not sure I'm actually an adult. 